Welcome to the video tutorial of creating a print activity from scratch. This video will demonstrate the skills covered in the written tutorial through the creation of a communication board. The first thing we need to do is launch the online editor. One of the ways that you can do this is from your home page. All you need to do is scroll down just a little bit and you will see the option to create activities. Go ahead and left click on create activities. This window will open and in the top left corner, you go ahead and select new blank activity. Once the online editor opens, you may want to maximize the window by selecting the maximize option in the top right corner of your screen. You'll see my cursor on it right now. Go ahead and just left click right on there and it'll expand all the way. So go ahead and go up to the toolbar and place your cursor on the button tool. So left click, release, then move your cursor to the page or board and then left click, hold, drag, and create the button as large as or small as you'd like it. Once you have it to the size that you would like, then a lot of people then want to multiply the button. So we're going to go back up to the toolbar. We're going to select the spray tool in the same manner as we did the button tool. We're going to left click, release, and place our cursor inside the button, and then left click, hold, drag the buttons to multiply. At this point, you see that all the buttons have a red border around them. That means that they're all selected. This allows us to change the properties of the buttons at this point if we'd like to. If you'd like to take advantage of this, you would go over to the Properties panel, which is located on the right side, and select Fill Color. You click on the drop-down menu and select White. Then you may want to change the border. You may want to select the color black and make the border a little bit thicker. Now, if you want to move the buttons, maybe they're a little bit too close to the top, you would place your cursor within the but one of the buttons, left click, hold, drag, and you'll see all of them will move. This is only because all of them are selected. If you only want to move one button, then you would only click on one button to have that border, and that will only move one button. Let's go ahead and place a symbol and then a digital image inside the buttons. There are different ways to place symbols in the button. I'm going to demonstrate the easiest way, which is called Edit in Place. The way Edit in Place works is that you select the button, type in the search term of the symbol that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to type in dog, select Enter key, and all my results for dog will pop up. I select my dog and click on the option Select in the bottom right corner. Now let's go ahead and search for an image of a bike. I'm going to click on this button right here so we can see the image clearly. And I'm going to type in the word bike as the search term. Select enter because I'm using my edit in place procedure. And I look at the bike options and I think, hmm, no, that really doesn't represent any of the bikes that my student would be familiar with. So if you look at the top left corner of this window, you see the word symbols. And then if you look two tabs down, it says web search. I'm going to click on the tab with the words web search. It has the word bike in there. All I need to do is click at the end of the word, select enter again. Oh, now I have a lot of different bikes. So I am going to choose a bike that looks similar to the bike that my student has and click select on the bottom right corner and the bike image appears in the button. Now let's go ahead and place a label for the communication board on the page. To do that, I'm gonna go up back up to the toolbar Use the same process as before. I'm going to click on the Label tool. Just left click once, release. Place the cursor on the page and then left click, hold, drag. Now I can type whatever I'd like. If you want to change anything about the label, I go over to the right side of the screen to the Properties panel and it gives me the options of what I can do with the text. Saving your activity as you create it is a great way to make sure you don't lose your work. The way to use Save an Activity is by going up to the top left corner, selecting File, selecting Save Activity, type in the name, select Save, and your work will be saved in your My Activities. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.